Hello everyone, here is a question on rectangle and the question is find the area of rectangle whose perimeter is 40 meter and length and breadth are length and breadth ratio is 3 is to 1. So they have given two things, one they have given is perimeter which is 40 meter and second they have given the ratio of length and breadth which is 3 is to 1. What we have to find out, we have to find out the area of rectangle. So to find the area of rectangle we should know length and breadth but here they are given in the ratio. So first we're going to find out the length and breadth and then later we're going to find out the area. So now since the ratio is given length and breadth uh, so we're going to take a uh, assume a variable x and the ratio uh, the length will become 3x and breadth will become uh, 1x. So let length be equal to 3x and breadth will be equal to 1x. Now why we are taking x here? Whenever ratios are given, they are given in a reduced form. For example, uh, for example, okay, this is not related to question. Suppose the actual length is uh, 15 and the breadth is suppose 20. Okay, The length is 15 and breadth is 20. But when I give in a ratio, I am going to give it as 3 is to 4. So they are going to cancel the number, like, like I can cancel this number, I can reduce this in 5 table, I can cancel it. I'll get 3 by uh, 3 by 4, right? So here the ratios are always given reduced to form, but the actual length and breadth could be anything. So they could they could be a common factor, like I have cancelled this in 5 tables, so 5 is a common factor. So here also there could be a common factor, it could be 1, it could be 4, it could be any number. So that is why we're going to assume always a, a variable here. Okay, so we got length and breadth ratio. This is 3x and next is 1x. It is 1. It looks like 7. Okay, so let me rewrite this. So this is 1x. Now, they have given the perimeter which is 40. So we're going to use this formula to find out the x value first. So what is perimeter formula? So perimeter of rectangle is 2 into L plus B. So perimeter is equal to 2 into L plus B. So perimeter is 40, so 40 is equal to 2 into, in place of length I'll substitute 3x, in place of breadth I'm going to put 1x, so you can just write x. So 40 is equal to 2 into, 3x plus x is 4x. Now multiply, 2 into 4x is 8x, so 8x. So 40 is equal to 8x. We have to find out the x value, so we're going to transpose 8 to the other side. It will come in division because 8 is getting multiplied, so in transpose it will get divided. So 40 divided by 8 is equal to x. Cancel this in 8 table, 8 ones are 8 fives are 40. So therefore we got x value is equal to x. Now from this we're going to find out the length and breadth. So we know length ratio is 3x, right? Uh, 3 and breadth is 1. So ratios are 3 is to 1. So length is 3x. So from here length will be equal to so L is equal to 3x which means 3 into 5 which is equal to 15. Similarly breadth will be equal to 1x. 1x means 1 into 5. So 1 into 5 which is equal to 5. The units will be meter. So we got length and breadth. Now we can find the area. So area will become so area of rectangle formula is length into breadth. So length we got is 15 for and breadth is 5. So 15 5 is 75. So 75 meter square. Uh, it's a meter into meter so it will get meter square here. So we got the area. I hope this question is clear. Now in case you have any other question or doubt you can type it down in the comment. Thank you so much for watching.